Okay, good evening students. Today we are going to take up the topic, The Lion and the Jewel, which is a three-act play and it is written by Wol Soinka, one of uh, Nigeria's most prominent playwrights and he was also a Nobel laureate in literature. Okay, and this play, The Lion and the Jewel, it was first performed in 1959 and since then it has become a classic of African drama. Okay, now if we talk about the play, then uh, it is set in a fictional village, in the fictional village of Ilujinle. Now do not worry about the name of, uh, uh, sorry, the spelling of this uh, word because we are going to take up the text line by line. So we are going to come across this word. Okay, so this play is set in uh, a fictional village called Ilujinle. It is in rural Nigeria and this whole play revolves around the clash between traditional and modern values. Now, the central characters in, of this play are Lakunle, Sidi, and Baroka. Okay, now Lakunle is a young school teacher who represents uh, modernity and progress. And Sidi is the village Bile, and she embodies the traditional values of the village. Now, the character, another important character is Baroka. And he is a very willy and cunning village chief. And he wishes to marry Sidi and maintain the power and traditions of the village. Okay. Now, this play explores uh, various themes, including the clash between tradition and modernity, and uh, the role of women in society, the corruption of power. Okay. And Soinka uses humor, satire, and irony to highlight uh, these uh, the absurdities of certain customs and traditions, while also emphasizing the importance of preserving cultural heritage. Okay, now one of the key features of this play is its use of Yoruba folklore. Okay, Yoruba, for, uh, Yoruba is a tribe in Nigeria, so Soinka uses Yoruba folklore and proverbs which are prevalent in this tribe. Okay, so he draws on, uh, Swanka draws on this rich cultural tradition to create a vivid and authentic portrayal of Nigerian village life. Okay, and he also employs uh, a variety of dramatic techniques such as song, dance, mime to enhance the visual and auditory elements of the play. So you are going to come across all these things in the play. Okay. So overall, this play, The Lion and the Jewel, it is, uh, well, it is a compelling and entertaining work which uh, offers a nuanced portrayal of the complexities of African culture and society. And uh, this play, it continues to be widely performed and studied both in Nigeria and around the world and thereby cementing Soinka's reputation as a master of African drama. Okay, so uh, that's a very short uh, introduction to this play, The Lion and the Jewel. Now we are going to take up the play uh, line by line because uh, we can do this thing uh, in on YouTube. Of course, we uh, can't do this in classroom because we have, uh, like, there is a time crunch, right? Okay, so let's start the play without wasting any more time. One second. Yep. Okay. I hope my screen must be visible. Yes. Okay, I have already uploaded this play on your uh, Google Classroom. So you may check uh, the text or uh, from there or maybe you can get a printout of this play if you need it. Okay, so let's uh, start. So, uh, can you see uh, there is a line characters. So we are going to first of all read from there. Sidi, the village belly. Lakunle, school teacher. Baroka, the bale of Elujinle. That means the chief of Elujinle. Sadiku, she is the his head wife, the favorite, village girls, a wrestler, a surveyor, school boys, attendants on the bale, musicians, dancers, mamas, prisoners, traders, and the village itself. Okay, now it's the morning time. So this play has been divided according to uh, morning and uh, uh, 
I think it is uh, one second, uh, noon and the night. So let's continue from the first act, morning. A clearing on the edge of the market dominated by an immense Odan tree. Now Odan, in Yoruba tribe, if uh, some leaves of Odan tree are plucked and uh, are kept in front of the house of a person, then it means that the person is proud or uh, or overbearing and if care is not taken he will fall to shame and disrespect okay so that is why odan is a uh, uh, very important a very significant thing in yoruba tribe like i told you soinka will be using all the customs and uh, traditional things that are attached to this folklore yoruba folklore okay so in the very first line we come across this odan tree which has certain significance in the yoruba culture okay now okay we are going to um, again start from the beginning a clearing on the edge of the market dominated by an immense odan tree it is the village center the wall of the bush school flanks the stage on the right and a rude window opens onto the stage from the wall there is a chant of the arithmetic times issuing from this window it begins a short while before the action begins sidi enters from left carrying a small pail of water uh, where is it sorry mm. where is that line enters from left carrying a yeah yeah, yeah. So Siddhi enters from left carrying a small pail of water on her head. She is a slim girl with plaited hair, a true village belay. She balances the pail on her head with accustomed ease. Around her is wrapped the familiar broad cloth which is folded just above her breasts, leaving the shoulders bare. So you must have seen a young African woman. So she is uh, also... Uh, the appearance that she has got. She is also wearing uh, that kind of uh, dress only. She has wrapped around herself a broad cloth, right? And it is just above her breast. And if we talk about uh, what's going on in the play, when the play begins, so we are able to listen to the chant of arithmetic times, which is coming from a window. Okay. And... We are getting to see that from somewhere, Sidi enters, okay, with a small pail of water on her head. This is not in the house, ladies are in the mud and they are in the And they are in school, they are in the school, they are in the school, they are in the school, they are in school, they are in the 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 school, जो भी बच्चे पढ़ रहे हैं मैथ्स में ठीक है और उसी समय हमें देखने को मिलता है कि सिदी शी इज शी आल्सो एंटर्स ओके ओके ऑलमोस्ट एज सून एज शी अपीयर्स ऑन द स्टेज द स्कूल मास्टर्स फेस आल्सो अपीयर्स एट द विंडो द चैंटिंग कंटिन्यूज 3 टाइम्स 2 आर 6 3 टाइम्स 3 आर 9 एटसेट्रा द टीचर Lakunle disappears. He is replaced by two of his pupils, aged roughly 11, who make a buzzing noise at Sidi, repeatedly clapping their hands across the mouth. Lakunle now reappears below the window and makes for Sidi, stopping only to give the boys admonitory wax on the head before they can duck. They vanish with a howl and he shuts the window on them. The chanting dies away. The schoolmaster is nearly 23. He is dressed in an old-style English suit, credbear but not ragged, clean but not ironed, obviously a size or two too small. His tie is done in a very small knot, disappearing beneath a shiny black waistcoat. He wears 23-inch bottom trousers and blanco white tennis shoes so this is the appearance of the schoolmaster or the teacher lakunle okay and like i told you that uh, lakunle will be 
giving you uh, the vibes of uh, modernity and progress but if you pay attention to the way he is dressed up what can you see i mean what can you uh, observe it is written that he is dressed in an old english old style english suit threadbare but not ragged that means he is not very fortunate thoda garib hai but then he has accepted the modernity he has tried his level best to appear as if his as if he is a he is an english gentleman and that is why he is wearing an english suit okay though it is uh, threadbare and not ragged but then it is an english suit okay and uh he has also been uh, is also wearing a tie also which again gives you the english gentleman vibes right and what is his age his age is 23 okay he wears 23 inch bottom trousers and blank or white tennis shoes so this is the appearance of lakunle okay let's start so the play starts with the description of sidi and lakunle and what was going on over there that means the school was running uh, i mean क्लास में क्लास स्कूल में क्लास चल रही थी मैथ्स की एंड लकुनले वॉज द वन हुज टीचिंग द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ लकुनले टू स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ लकुनले दे आर वेरी नॉट इट चिल्ड्रन तो दैट इज वाई दे आर हिस्सिंग दे आर मेकिंग हिस्सिंग साउंड और वट इज रिटन ओवर दैर वन सेकेंड दे आर मेकिंग बजिंग साउंड एट सिदे दे आर क्लैपिंग दे हैंड्स अक्रॉस द माउथ वाई आर दे डूइंग सो वाई वर दे डूइंग दिस थिंग बिकॉज they wish to to draw the attention of sidi okay now because she must be looking very beautiful to them okay that is why they are doing this thing okay let's come to play uh, the play lakunle let me take it sidi no lakunle let me seizes the pail some water spills on him sidi delighted the wet for your pains have you no shame lakunle that is what the stew pot said to the fire have you no shame at your age licking my bottom but she was tickled just the same okay uh, there is one thing that i forgot to tell you that there are various uh, uh, you can say well it's not a movie of course but then if you would be able to visualize the play then uh, maybe you can say that there are uh, scenes of obscenity okay there are certain vulgar lines which is not very appropriate okay very obscene sort of thing okay but then soyanka in order to uh, represent the society the way it is he has used all these things in the play as well okay so do not feel uh, i mean anything wrong about it it's normal okay So this is what the stew pot said to the fire have you no shame at your age licking my bottom but she was tickled just the same so lakunle is flirting with sidi okay sidi the school teacher is full of stories this morning and now if the lesson is over may i have the pail lakunle no i have told you not to carry loads on your head but you are as stubborn as an illiterate goat it is bad for the spine and it shortens your neck so that very soon you will have no neck at all do you wish to look squashed like my pupils drawings sidi why should that worry me haven't you sworn that my looks do not affect your love yesterday dragging your knees in the dust you said sidi if you were crooked or fat and your skin was a scaly like a like a like stop sidi i only repeat what you said lakunni yes and i will stand by every word i spoke but must you throw away your neck on that account sidi it is so unwomanly un- only spiders carry loads the way you do 
so again this is uh, this is something which is relatable to african mythology only spiders carry loads the way you do okay this is uh, an african proverb okay sidi huffily exposing the neck to advantage well it's my neck not your spider lakunle looks and gets suddenly agitated and look at that look look at that makes a general sweep in the direction of her breasts who was it talked of shame just now how often must i tell you sidi that a grown up girl must cover up her her shoulders i can see quite quite a good portion of uh, that and so i imagine can every man in the village idlers all of them good for nothing shameless men casting the lustful eyes where they have no business so as we can see that lakunle is very possessive about sidi he doesn't like that uh, sidi is not properly dressed up she is dressed up in a uh, in a manner which is a showing of her skin right and that is why this makes lakunle very concerned about sidi and that is why he is scolding her that you should not wear that kind of dresses anymore because you are a grown up lady and uh, in the beginning of the play as you can see lakunle took the pail of water from sidi and he said that uh, see do remember that uh, lakunle is someone who is representing modernity so he must have uh, uh got this idea got this notion that uh, if you are going to uh, uh take up so much burden on your head maybe your neck is going to shorten up so this is very uh, a funny thing but then he has this notion ki aisa hoga and that is why he is asking he is scolding sidi in fact that maine bola nahi tha ki aisa nahi karna but dekho tum ekdam makriyon ki tarah sar pe bhari bhar ke saman utha ke ja rahi ho okay and the moment the kunle notices her uh, inappropriate uh, dressing sense he again scolds her okay so uh, rest we are going to do in the next lecture i hope you are able to understand this uh, play if you have any trouble in comprehending this play you may uh, drop a comment on my google classroom okay where i'm going to post where i'm going to post this link the link of this uh, uh video okay thank you